Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. We're going to catch up now with how the season is going and it's actually going really well. So we're playing the season 2030-2031. Uh, We've now gone through our usual January, re January review. And as you can see, we are actually in first place, which is... I think a first for us. We've never been consistently in first place ever in any leagues. So it's going really well. And and that I'm not sure if that's good or bad. So I guess the pressure is on us to keep up there, I suppose. Um it also gives us an opportunity to go through strip promotion without going through playoffs. And I think we've never yeah, I I I don't think we've ever won. Uh, any sort of league so that could be the first league trophy for us as well if we do end up winning we're two games behind everyone else and we're still in first so that's good now uh, one quick update that I forgot to mention in the last episode as well is that over the summer we also got ourselves a new affiliate we're now Liverpool's so we were Arsenal's to start with when we first got a senior affiliate club then we moved on to Chelsea for, I think, two or three seasons. And now we are with Liverpool. This doesn't mean anything at all because uh, we don't actually have any Liverpool, Liverpool, whatever you call it, um, players in our squad on loan at all. But I suspect that when we got, if, if and when we get promoted to the Scarabat Championship, we might get some of these players come through because we'll we will then be in the league straight below Liverpool. I just wanted to yawn there, but it didn't come out. Okay, so now to go back and look at the schedule for just a little bit. So we had our friendlies, uh, then we played these two matches live. I think on an episode, we went up. Ended up winning against Cardiff for the Carabao uh, first round and then losing against Watford, who are in the Premier League for the second round of the Carabao Cup. Papa John's is going well so far. We're still in the Papa John's um, trophy. The FA Cup, we won against uh, Tranmere for the first round and Stockport for the second round and we ended up being knocked out by Barnsley on the third round. Uh, so up next for us on the uh, Papa John's Trophy quarterfinal, we will have Watts, Watford and the 23s to contend with. So that should be fine, I think. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Um, right, so as far as the, the league, we've had a couple of losses here and there, a couple of draws here and there, but mostly wins actually. So we've been going really well. Um, we have quite a few, uh, well, how do we actually look at this? Mm. Uh, yeah, so if you look at the squad, it might be, might be the easiest thing to do. We got a couple of new players, so we'll ignore those, but if we look at stats for the league, uh, we have Dodds and Malachi, so they're both left and right wingers. Um, with the most goals, uh, I want to call him Chaos. He's the shadow striker. He's got five goals for the league. And the striker, proper striker, Neil Holt, uh, has got three along with the right um, wing back and the backup right winger. So that's how it looks up overall. If you look at the overall stats. Um, it kind of changes a little bit, but it's still the same three at the top. So Dodds, Malachi, and um, Chaos. He's, he's probably in Chaos, but I'm going to call him Chaos because it sounds cool. Yeah, so that's, that's it. As far as transfer changes, so let's pull up the notes. If I could get my mouse in the right place. There we go. So we have the first... Um, change that was noteworthy is um, at the end of the summer window I ended up getting Richard South um, to be a, a right defender. If you remember you, we used to have Cammy Logan and uh, Leon Davis if you've been watching the previous episodes 
Leon Davis ended up going out uh, on a loan to Woking. And Kami Logan, we just recently sold for a token 1k. Uh, so he's out, out in all the shot now. So being promoted all the way down to the national, demoted all the way down to the national league. So we got, got those two out. So I've got Richard South in the end of the summer. Uh, so there he is. He's actually declining already with us. Not sure why that is. That's strange. And uh, we recent, more recently got An Anthony. So Anthony is, I suppose, one of those players that. Well, we 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 did buy him. He's got a one year contract only, though, so he runs out in 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 the summer. And then if we get promoted to the championship, and if we get our finances sorted, which is again another ordeal that we have to contend with. Uh, then we might be able to invest in brand new players for that position. Um, other changes on the left side of the fence. Uh, we used to have this kid, um, uh, Kieran Noble. There's two reasons I. Uh, it says here he left in January, so he just left. I um, cancelled the loan. There's two reasons. First of all, because he um, got himself injured just before January and it was a three-month injury. So that pretty much was like, okay, that's it. Yes, you're done for the season, pretty much. And also, one of our young players, Emmanuel Eze, if I can find him, he's pretty much, like, ready. So we could swap him in. We we will play him every now and then. See, he played one Pap, Pap Jones match. We've been playing quite a few of the young players, actually, because our... Schedule has been quite busy, so I've been using youth players to play in the, in the main squad. So Emmanuel is nearly re nearly ready. So we had three players. If you remember, if you watched the previous episode, we had Max, Rico, and Kieran um, for that position because I wasn't quite sure um, how to make my, make up my mind about that. So Kieran's left, and we now just have Rico and Max, and um, we got Emmanuel in the youth team if needed. Um, in center of defense, I'll come back to goalkeepers in a bit, but in center of defense we've made one change and now in January we've got this kid, where is he? Harry Hagen uh, on loan uh, because I wanted to move Kaya along Kai's been with us pretty much since the beginning, like since the first or second season we played. So he's um, he's actually done really well to go from all the way from the Van Rama North all the way to Skybet League One. But I think it's time for us to move him on. I didn't manage to sell him in the uh, January window, but I'm hoping to sell him in June. Uh, so we just got him to replace Kaya. The plan was to move on Kaya now, but we weren't able to, so... That's why we got Harry. Uh, in the halfback position, nothing has changed. In the box to box position, we've got Matty Virtue. Just now, in um, in the January review, just to improve that position a little bit, that both both Mike and Simon were both a bit flaky. So we demoted Simon to the end of 23s. He's only 21 uh, at the moment, so he'll spend some time there. To see if he can get better but yeah we needed to get someone a bit more solid for that position no changes in the right of attack or left of the attack for the shadow striker position we decided, decided to slim the position down to two players so if you remember at the beginning i wasn't quite sure whether or not i was going to get yan in uh, so i think i finished the episode without actually deciding but i did get him in in the end I stayed with Jake, Jan, and, and Chaos for the first half of the season, and then in January I decided to send Jake Young back. Uh, we're now mainly playing with uh, Chaos, but Jan does play occasionally as well. Um, now a small change here: Craig Sp Spillane, Spillane, Craig. Anyway, Craig's been with us for a while. Um, 
but he got himself injured and he took a knock on his... I can't remember what it was now. Took a knock on something. Uh, Mental-wise. Bravery. Obviously, yeah, sure. Took a knock on his bravery. Um, and I thought, you know what, we'll get someone else. And I saw that Miles was... So we've had we had Miles last season on loan, but this time we bought him. Now Miles last season wasn't very productive, I don't think. Let's have a look at him. History. He played three, 20 matches with three goals and two assists. But I think because he's still young and he's got loads of potential still, he, I think we can still make something out of him. He's only 23. Um, with, with a bit more practice, I think he'll be all right for us. So we've got him. So now we've got two strikers that can take us into the future, I think. We've got Neil Holt, which is pretty good. And we've got um, Miles. So I think we've, we're sorted in that position for the next couple of seasons, I think. Because they're both young. Uh, so that's all right. And we're going to attempt to sell Craig at some point as well. Uh, now, up to the um, goalkeeper position. I don't think I mentioned this one. So for the goalkeeper position, we've got Tom Yates. Who's, he's doing brilliantly for us. Uh, and he's still only 24. And... We also have now Stefan Duarte. And he's only on loan because my plan was to move on Alex Palmer. He's 34. He's starting to decline. We did get an offer for him, but he declined them. He declined them. So he's stuck now. Yeah. So I, I don't know. Yeah. Now I think we have one too many loanees because I got rid of two loanees in the January review. That uh, extra um, right defender and the extra shadow striker, I got rid of them. So, But then I acquired a, uh, a goalkeeper on loan, uh, a center, center back on loan, and a um, box-to-box -box on loan. So I dropped two and acquired three. Um, so yeah. That's a bit of an issue, but yeah, so that means we, at the moment, I'm not playing with a goalkeeper on the bench for that reason. So we can have our minimum loan, sorry, maximum of five loan players in the match squad. So that's, that's created a little bit of an issue, but I think it'll be fine. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Let's jump into a match. So I've already selected a match. I don't think I've done the tactics yet. So I've got the match squad. But I have not done the tactics yet, so I always just accept the the advice. It's, it's actually coming up pretty good, as, as we can see from the results. Sometimes it doesn't do all that well, but I can't remember. Was this positive? The only thing is, the only annoying thing is we need to, to always then... Um, this defaults to... Uh, cautious whenever I accept the advice. I think it was positive. Anyway, there's no way to rewind. I'm recording it, but there's no way to rewind live, so I don't know. You will know, though. You'll be able to rewind and know this. Um, right, let's go and play one match just to see how the team is doing. Also, in terms of training, for all of the rest periods, no, well, not all of them, but the majority of the rest periods, I've been practicing training to do with acceleration because I want to get that better for us. Uh, so that means I've been doing overall training, physical training, one-to-ones for goalkeepers apparently improves their acceleration as well, which is great. Um, obviously quickness. And then I always do some community training uh, work sort of training session and also uh, team bonding training session and our team bonding is pretty good now it's dropped a bit because we uh, oh we're losing uh, now it's dropped a bit because we have moved some of our players around so I've de demoted so all the players that I was planning to 
sell off in the January review. I've now moved to the under 23s squad. And obviously we have some new players that have come in. So the cohesion has dropped to good, but it was very good before. Nearly at, I can't remember what it is, it's like exceptional or something. The maximum, I think it's exceptional. It was nearly at exceptional, but never quite got there before the January review. Come on, Hagen, run. Oh, there's no one there. Okay, uh, yeah, started losing this one. I'm not used to losing now. But it's okay. Holt. Oh, he tries to do a shot. A trick shot. And he got it in. That was a trick shot, wasn't it? He tried to just get his leg up high, I think. Let's look at that again. Oh, yeah, that was, that was pretty cool, actually. Well done. Okay, so back level and looking at the ratings, we might need to get a different box to box in. See, I'm not happy with the box to box position. They're not really all that great. This is a rare occasion, but I will take Dodds out just because I have a feeling. Oh, come on. Ah, it was well played by Hagen, though. Chaos is tired. So I'll show you the calendar as well in a bit, just to, like, just to make you aware of how many matches we've been playing a week. It's basically two a week constantly. Which is why... Uh, we'll, we'll go and have a look at the stats for the youth as well. And I've, I've actually sold a couple of the youth recently, so a couple of the youth who, have, who played semi-regularly in the first team have now left but um but we'll go look at the stats anyway and we might have a look at the uh transfer it's like the outgoing transfers just to see if we can spot any names we can look at okay so that's a draw that's fine let's take a look at some of the youth players So we'll do this first. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So let's look at stats, competitions overall, and we'll include the under 18s in this as well. So obviously we've got the X first team players. Oops. There we go. X first team players. Uh, in people on loan. So the first youth is this one. So Harry Crawford played seven matches for us with two goals. Claudius played six. So um, Harry Crawford, he can either play box to box or striker. Claudia, I think, only plays box to box. Yeah. Uh, six matches for us with two goals. Uh, Craig Noon is a left back. Can also play um, striker, shadow striker. Six matches, one goal. Manny Blake, three matches, no goals. He's a striker. Or, or yeah. Um, Jack Pickering, he's played one match two and two out from the bench. Oh, as a right winger, 
he's played one match as a striker with one goal. Ollie Morgan, one match as a box to box with one assist. Emmanuel, one match so far. He's probably going to play more actually now that we've got rid of that third right uh, back. Uh, Peter Simons, I don't recall playing him, but he's a striker. He's a central defender or half to half back? Yeah, central defender, one match, and Stephen Howe, half back. So yeah, we've been playing quite a few of our young players. Now, uh, there's a couple who left as well. There's one that particularly comes to mind. Uh, Nathan Doxley. He played for us a few matches. I'm not sure entirely how many. Four matches this season. Four matches last season as well. Um, with one assist. He's been sold. Uh, he's a goalkeeper, but he didn't play for us in the first team, I don't think. Uh, he didn't play for us in the first team. He did, I think. Oscar Colon. Yeah, he played one match and then we loaned him out. And these are all ex-first team players. I'm not sure about this kid. One match for us and then we loaned him. Okay. But that was like a couple of seasons ago anyway, so... Not relevant to what we're saying now. Uh, oh yeah, new coach for the under 23s. Yeah, so we, we're having a mixture of like, because our calendar, if we go to calendar view, go all the way back to the start of the season. So this wasn't too bad. We had a couple of uh, Carabao Cups mid uh, matches mid-season. Uh, October was pretty chill. Sorry, September was pretty chill. October started... At the end of October, we started to play a really um, busy schedule. And then we had two matches every week. Two matches every week, min minus this one. I think it got postponed at one point. Um, only one match that week. Two matches every week, except this week. And now we're in February. So we're just starting February. But yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to be getting busier, but... Um, yeah, so from now on it'll start to slowly go back to just one match a week. But yeah, we had quite an intense couple months, two or three months actually, just doing double matches every week. Um, so yeah. It's been good to kind of use the um, youth players and develop them a little bit. Um, we probably would have played more of them if we didn't have three players for the uh, right wing back position and three players for the shadow striker position. But as it was, um, we still were able to uh, to play quite a few of them. Now I think that's good enough for one episode. Um, yeah, so it's going really well. Chances are I'm going to come back at the end of the season and I'm going to say, you know what, we don't need playoffs. We finished first or second. So, so chances are that we're going to go straight into the next um, league without the need for the playoffs. For the very first time, we've always done playoffs to get promoted. Always. We've never came above the playoffs or won the league or anything like that. At least I don't think so. Although my memory sometimes can be... Uh, I guess one way to look at it is to look at history. Milestones, competitions. Oh, notable. Okay. So I was hired, finished six for the Vanarama. Oh, this is just like the best finishes. Got promoted on playoffs to the Vanarama League. Got promoted on playoffs to the Vanarama, so to the Skybet League 2. Promoted on playoffs to Skybet League 1. Yeah, so the only trophy we have is a Papa John's last year. It's possible that we'll always also get a Papa John's this year. We're still in, in the competition. We're going to play the quarterfinal next against Watford under 23s. So yeah, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And that way you can get updated on the next release of the next episode. I tend to now post just two episodes a week. I went through a season of posting every day of the week. 
Um, it's just because I wanted to catch up a little bit since we had Patreon going, uh, just to kind of keep that a little bit more close to. So when new patrons come in, the idea is that their name will feature on the um, uh, on the credits pretty soon after they sign up. So because I was recording way way ahead, I had to then release them, release the episodes quicker to sort of catch up. In the last episode, I said we were, you know, we lost our only patron, but now, but no, Johan's back. There's just a little bit of an issue uh, with, um, yeah, something. But yeah, yeah, Johan's back. And uh, therefore, check out the credits. Anyway, catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.